Ouais, t'as fait Scott Lee. Comment Marie Let's play. We don't man. need your aim, we, we just need you to, to shoot close to them. Alright, my, my fucking... Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, fuck. Your team killed or what? Mm. Are you crashing into each other? Hey, this is Matthias, and I've been away again for about a week, and the reason for that was that I had some hardware issues, and I had to get myself a new hard drive because it broke down for me, and I also needed a new processor fan, and luckily one of my friends had a processor fan, and uh, I went to see him, and then I kind of got stuck there drinking beer, barbecue, hanging out with his family and all that stuff, it was just wonderful. In this video I was uh, gonna share with you some of the graphic settings and some of the key bindings that I have and you see me fiddle around with it a bit but this is not in any way a tutorial but it might actually help some of you guys out and you'll see me fiddle around with it a bit while we are goofing around. Increase minimap zoom, decrease minimap zoom. What the fuck? It worked before. Come on, game, don't be like this. See, if you're having some trouble getting your settings correct, uh, don't give up. Uh, the game just sometimes has its own will and it doesn't react on your commands. I don't know why, but uh, I was trying to, first of all, uh, be able to increase and decrease the minimap that you see on the left side of the screen there. But uh, it just wouldn't allow me to uh, get my settings uh, after a while I got it though, so... Holy shit, you're such a badass. And, uh, okay, we can't count Mati. We are... Mati is minus one, okay. We are three. Ah, uh, let's not go for this. Uh, keep okay. high. There's ground blockers. There's uh, uh, an x yeah. Let's take the ones on. Uh, Come on, poor guy. Uh, this is Eric. Two on me. Yeah, yeah. On the game, he's Beko now. Back off, off you, Beko. There's one more on me. On him. Oh shit, crap. Yeah, yeah, I'm on him. Yeah. Oh shit, my aim is so fucking bad now. Maybe I'm turn away if they see two of us. No! <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was going to do? I wanted to say thank you in chat with the... Uh, with the That's voice. That's why you won't kill him. <laughs> if you wrote you. I was oh. really going to drop C4 and C4 one of them. Yeah, I gotta admit, not playing this game for about a week, it does make Wrong a box. massive difference. Oh no! Crashed into a fucking tower. Fuck <laughs> <Okay>. it. <laughs> nice flying, Monty. <laughs> and did you see that? Yeah. We lost two guys. One to my stupidity and one to Matty's stupidity. Yep, impact there. Eh? Yeah, I know there's a lot of you guys who prefer to have the fixed minimap as it is in its default settings but I turned that off. Now one of the graphic settings that you have that has the most impact on your visuals is graphics quality. Now I've set it to medium and that's because I want the tracers of the ESFs to look the way they look in my video here. If I have it on high quality then you will have the empire specific blurness and it makes it a lot harder to aim. The problem with this is of course that it affects the range of thermal and another problem is that when you use the night vision as an infantry player uh, it, it just doesn't give you the same benefits another thing is that when I fly during daytime I always turn brightness all the way down to zero now one of the reasons for that is of course because I have shadows turned off however when I go inside I need to increase the brightness again at least above 50 somewhere around 60 it depends on a little bit right now I just uh, turned it up uh, I don't know exactly where I put it but yeah on the ground and especially in a bio lab like this you need some brightness, even with shadows off. I hope Counter Strike is getting a good discount in one of these days. Oh fuck! Oh. <laughs> Why are you so stupid, you know?
Come on guys, get out. They're simply not coming out. Oh, get out. I'm an engineer. Let's go back to Alato. Now another key that I have changed in the past is the ability and I'm using charge here and uh, the default is F and I actually decided to leave it at that this time and I also want to let you know that uh, so far in this gameplay I've been playing it with my processor at stock clocking which is 3.4 I have a 2600k Sander Bridge uh, i7 and uh, it it makes a big difference I'm going to uh, clock it up again and uh, I'm sure it's gonna work since I have a better fan this time and uh, yeah the processor fan is nothing spectacular but it's uh, way better than the default one and here you see I uh, removed the centralized HUD and I now have the health bar and uh, the ability meter down on the right side of the screen and uh, another thing that has happened a lot is that bling members have a tendency to get killed in the warp gate it happens quite repeatedly and yeah good job SOE for not fixing this really well done, you do your job great. Yeah. What? It doesn't work. Oh, 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 right and click. he killed me right again. Click. Now another thing that is affected quite heavily if you lower your graphics settings is your ability to see cloaked enemies. And uh, this is what it looks like on my settings. This was a stalker cloak, of course, so uh, I wasn't supposed to be able to see him anyway. The problem with graphic settings is that uh, the things that is really good for you when you're flying, or at least for me, is uh, normally quite bad for especially infantry, which is... The, there are two classes that I prefer to play, uh, the two ways I like to play this game, and it's infantry and flying ESF. But the graphic settings, they don't go well together. And like I said earlier, Playing infantry in Planza 2 with a stock clocked uh, i7 uh, 2600K is not really working. So I've clocked it back to 4.2, which is a pre uh, presetting that I can use, and um, we'll see how it goes if I can play more infantry. I also have the smoothing off. Now, if you add the smoothing to it, you will have your uh, Fra uh, frames per second limited to 60 which normally I would say is a good thing but the uh, smoothings and uh, vertical sync and stuff like that they can have a lot of side effects not entirely sure how much of a side effect the smoothing has I've heard some bad things about it I haven't tried it myself instead I have limited my frames per second to uh, it used to be 90 but now I turned it down to 60 and I do that in the user option INI file uh, it's uh, it's quite easy to do actually and it's also one of the things that is actually very very good in Planet 2 it's actually uh, the FPS limiter in Planet 2 is fantastic I've had some major issues with this in other games like in the battlefield games and some such but in Planet 2 it has as far as I know no uh, side effects no, no noticeable side effects at least So that's all for this video, um, at the end of this video I'll also show you uh, one little quick run with the site as I uh, started playing with Chun and the other guys in Fools uh, the last hour and uh, yeah hopefully I'll be able to get back into the game now and um, I'll be able to come out with some more videos like usually so thank you all for watching and Bye for now. It's, now it's not even fun. It's not even fun going in this way. Like one of the things that was actually fun before. Now, no, it sucks. Fucking sucks. Oh my yes. God. Mr. Derp is over. Yeah. I have fun when I play infantry sometimes. Oh my God. Yeah, there was six jesters in that gangster when I saw them in darker. I took two of them out, but. But how about we go gang the gangers, maybe normally do. Always fun. Just take a gang to cause yourself. Good. Fucking no matter if taking a bunch of fucking campfire at the same time, it's so annoying.